Good day. My name is Caroline Mary Bosov and I'm in grade 9 in Cape Receive High School in Port Elizabeth. Cape Receive School is a school for children with disabilities. I have a learning disability called dyslexia. It means I struggle to read and write, but that doesn't stop me. It takes me so much longer to do schoolwork, but to get the same results than other children. But you can do it if you just believe. I'm doing Science Expo ever since grade one and every year I get a passion for Science Expo because I love the way I do my research. It's mostly practical. My first Science Expo was in grade one, 2008, and my project, I believe I can do anything, you can do anything. My first project, I didn't get any prizes because I didn't do that good, but I went back year after year and the first five years I didn't get any prizes. I came back when I was in grade six. I got a silver medal for my project Dyslexia. The project was about me and my disability and I actually saw many people have dyslexia and they are famous. They have people that have dyslexia can do so many other things with talents and then 2015 I did my project about how technology assists children with learning disabilities because the technology helped me why won't it help other children that year I did very good and I got a gold 2016 I went to International Science Expo and I got a gold best female at my regional science expo and I went to internationals and got best primary school learner and this project here is assistive devices my project is about how to assist children with disabilities so basically the project is about to do go around the problem for instance if you're disabled, how would you brush your hair? With an assistive device. How can you eat with a sponge? And you can eat so much better with this grip. How would you open a tap? With this assistive device. And then this assistive device is to fasten buttons with one hand. So basically, it goes through there. And there you go. You fasten your button. A pencil grip can change a child's life. Because look at that grip and then there. And then pouring of liquid. Many people ask me, how can blind people make coffee? You pour the liquid. You put your two fingers here and then the corks will float with water and if it touches your finger, you know you poured enough water. And then you also get braille on your case for your medication. And basically my whole project is just to assist people with assistive devices to do day-to-day -day tasks.